Guys, two-time world champion Apathy here, and if you're struggling in ranked, can't seem to finish any kills, today I'm going to teach you how to kill like the pros with three major tips. For tip number one, we're going to be talking about peeker's advantage or breaking someone's camera. And basically what that's going to look like is I'm going to jump around a corner and challenge the person and get the first shot, which is going to lead to me winning the gunfight. Now you have to do this quickly and you have to hit your shots, obviously. So this is an example of me not trying to camera the person on the head glitch right here and dying. Now here will be an example of me jumping around the corner, breaking his cameras and getting the first shot and taking him out. So you saw me take him off the head glitch there with breaking his camera, but essentially this is going to be the same thing. Now, if someone's out the open, it's even worse. And I'm going to demonstrate this right now. Now, think of it as a pro player with the highest skill possible with amazing gun skill movement doing this to you every time. It's going to be almost impossible to win this gunfight. And that's why breaking someone's camera is extremely important in, in MW2. Another way to camera someone is actually sprint to fire around a corner, but it requires amazing centering. So basically a centering where your opponent's going to be. And on top of it, hitting your shots. You don't always have to jump shot, even though it's the best way to engage in MW2 or in rank play. But this is another example of a sprint to fire. Just like that very simple and another way to have the speaker's advantage is by snaking behind cover because as soon as you go up you can shoot and have that first shot that peeker's advantage or even breaking your opponent's camera in a way for tip number two we're going to be talking about the off angles and kind of the way call of duty and mw2 works so basically the right angle has more of an advantage on the left angle and it kind of ties with peeker's advantage and this is why off angles are so effective and what do you consider an off angle basically a weird off angle where normally someone wouldn't hold and you know expecting them to run in and they're going to check something else and you get that first bullet or two to take them out and right here is a perfect example right now jay cannot see me but look how much of his body i can actually see and it's kind of crazy to think about that i can see that much of his body without him able to see me jay can you see me right now negative and i can see a whole leg i can see your uh belt with a grenade in there your arm like this is crazy this is not fair man yeah I'm, I'm gonna kill you real quick just to show it okay watch this so this is a good example of taking the right angles in certain engagements right now i am coming from the right side while he is on the left side so you can see if i were to turn around he has this left angle while my gun is sticking to the right and i have the right angle this is going to give me in a way a better peeker's advantage a better camera and i'm going to be able to potentially have the first shot on him and it kind of gives me that increase in the probability that i'm going to win this gunfight so i'm not going to hit him with a crazy movement or jump shot i'm simply going to sprint to fire around a corner and show you how incredible this angle is and now to make it even better i'm gonna jump around the corner and jump shot him and get that first shot and to go hand in hand with this you're gonna want to do off angles which is basically an angle where normally people wouldn't sit and can really help you secure that kill especially when you're weak the reason why is because you usually catch people sprinting and really just running at you and that off angle is gonna allow you to get those first couple shots and take them out to give you guys an example of a random off angle i'll be sitting somewhere around here as he rushes me And the reason off angles work so well in Call of Duty and especially in MW2 is because the time to kill is very fast. And tip number three, and as simple as this may sound, is keeping your gun up. Now in MW2, having one of the fastest TTKs in the past Call of Duties and with a slower sprint to fire time, keeping your gun up is going to be your best friend. Now, what do I mean by gun up? Well, one, it's called pre-aiming. You definitely want to pre-aim more because if you're pre-aiming, you can get that first shot and take them out most of the time now cameraing and breaking peekers advantage like i said earlier does exist which can counter this so you got to be a little bit careful but preaming around corners anticipating opponents and getting that first shot is huge so if you're expecting someone get your gun up a lot of the times a lot of the best players in the world you're going to see them having their gun up or ready for a gunfight if not you die like that so bop so pre-aiming is obviously one of the biggest things and something else you want to add to your gameplay on top of that is spamming ads so you see the pros do this all the time even some of the best players in the world and they do this mainly with an ar you can do this kind of with a sub but you can see like they they always try to have their gun up like they try not to get caught with their gun down because it can make a huge difference right it can
can be life or death. If you're just sprinting around and don't have your gun up, somebody can easily kill you. But if you're kind of anticipating a gunfight and kind of ready for someone, and even just doing this, kind of like ADSing, like pushing ADS again, and just ready to engage in that gunfight whenever they're, they're in the stream, you'll kill them. And that brings me to another thing. You got to be very careful in rank play in NW2 because the sprint to fire time, and especially when you're off a tactical sprint, is a little bit slower than what it would be walking or a normal sprint. So the one thing you got to understand is sometimes bot walking is fine. Automatic tactical sprint isn't necessary, even though it is nice for breaking people's cameras. But if you ever get caught off guard, the sprint on time is so slow, it won't help you. So you got to be very cautious when you're sprinting around and always just try to have your gun up. Other settings you can run is single tap the sprint. That way you're able to bot walk. Or even if you don't want, don't, don't want an auto attack. You know, just kind of do it the OG way. That way, if you know someone's coming around, you can just kind of snap on them or even do like a regular sprint and snap on them. And with the whole keep your gun up, that also goes with jump shotting. What I mentioned earlier with the peekers advantage, when you're jump shotting around corners and jump shotting people, a lot of the times you want to always, as you're jumping, gun up, jumping gun up. That way, when you see someone, you're ready to shoot and take them out. You're not having to, you're not pulling your gun late. You're not, you're not mid air then pulling your gun as soon as you land. It's you get, it's a flow. You jump gun up as you're flying around a corner. Jump gun up, tactical sprint out, gun up, and that way your gun's up and you're ready to shoot and kill him so like i said even though this might be one of the more simple tips honestly man at the lower levels in rank play and some of the stuff i see sometimes it's such a new mistake but it happens a lot where people get overzealous people get overconfident or i don't, I don't know they just not playing the game as it should be played and they're getting caught off sprint a lot and just insta dying and looking like a bot when maybe you're not a bot but that's just something you gotta work on guys i hope you enjoyed today's video the three major pro tips tips to kill faster wishing you guys all the luck in climbing those ranks i know it's not easy i'm currently the top 250 and it takes a lot of time but trust me with these tips you